Today's really all about these people, the people that volunteered to be out here. Are you doing good? Well, maybe you think of politicians as guys that show up for a photo op and a handshake, but not this gentleman. This is New York State Senator Marty Golden, and you were actually here on the night of the storm. Yes, and it was a very sad experience to see these families. The water came in so quick, and families trying to get out, had people on roofs, you had people taking their kids out on mattresses. But you were actually down here helping. You were helping walk people out of their homes, carry people to safety. We were, because I knew this place would be in trouble. I represent this place and a couple of areas along the beach area, but I knew this place would suffer uh, much more significantly, and so I came here. Got one of my employees, uh, he's walking down the block, and he says, the dog's barking. And I, I said, dog's barking? I said, can't be. I said, there's a dog in there. There's got to be somebody else in that house. And sure enough, he went downstairs and there was a, a man that had succumbed to the storm. What does it mean to you to see the turnout today of people that have come to help? I gotta tell you, there's tears in people's eyes here because you know what it is, it's October 29th. You, they went through Christmas, they went through Easter. Uh, you know, cold, uh, no hot water systems, no food. Some of these homes, there's no floors in them today. It's been a long, long process. And these people are tired and uh, some of them are sick and uh, some people died here. And uh, it was our role to make sure we got them back on their feet. And it's really come a long way from the depths of watching the individuals that were dying, those that were sick, to an actual rebuild. We actually see paint going on walls, you actually see gardens being planted, you actually see wood going up and doors and windows being put on. These are all poor, hardworking people uh, that live day to day and, and they needed this. What's your goal? Like, what's the best case scenario for Garretson Beach for you? We got to keep on building. We've changed some of the zoning to allow for us to go up. Uh, we did that at the state and city level. We're making sure the insurance checks are coming, coming in. And we're hardening our areas around uh, the shoreline so that we can prevent this in the future. I know you're going to be in the beach today, and yeah. that's one of the areas that lost a tremendous amount of sand. We got to bring more sand into that, so we got to build that up so that that doesn't come in prevent it from happening again. Correct. Senator, yeah. thank you so much for your time. Really thank you, appreciate TJ. it. I appreciate the work you're doing down here. Thank you very much.